Hi everyone, my name's Kelly Jessup. I am one of the ag teachers here at Mulwari High School. Um, welcome to our farm. We just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the types of enterprises we have here at Mulwari High um, and what the ag plot looks like and essentially how um, students study ag at the school. So just quickly, we're set up on, a, it's about a hundred acres in total, which includes the school, the farm and our wetlands facility. Um, the wetlands takes up a large section and sort of runs up through the whole centre of the school um, and our farm is sort of nestled around it. So we're really proud of our farm um, and we have quite a lot of learning opportunities here for students. Um, one of the enterprises that we have are our sheep. We have 22 first cross um, ewes that we produce for um, for their lambs, so for meat, meat purposes. Um, we also have, I don't know whether you can see in the background, um, some of our lane chooks. Um, and these have a, a pretty good life uh, and are certainly pretty spoilt <laughs> by the children. Um, we also have beef cattle. So we have two Hereford cattle that we uh, get calves out of each year as well. And, and the kids are involved in showing and grooming and you know all of those fun things. So we have quite a, quite a mix. Um, we also, from a plant perspective, grow our own vegetables. Um, we have quite an extensive garden, which you've probably driven past on McDermott Drive, you can see there. So each class will have their own garden and be responsible for the care and maintenance of that. Um, in terms of how we actually study uh, ag in a year seven and eight capacity, um, it is part of the tech rotation, so agriculture is studied um, along under the umbrella essentially of like the woodwork, metalwork um, kind of area, cooking and so on. So your students won't have it for the full year, um, they might have it uh, in a part-time capacity for a certain amount of time in the year. Um, so if they don't get ag and they're really interested in studying ag but don't necessarily um, get it as part of their timetable or part of their studies in year seven and eight, uh, there is the option for them to come and join Ag Club, which is a extracurricular club that we offer to, to students. And we set it up for that reason because there is you know, a lot of children who are interested in ag but don't necessarily get to study it in year seven and eight. They might be lucky enough, but they might not too. So there is, there is that option. Um, so we encourage kids to sign up for that. Um, I think that's about it. Um, we have, you know, a great farm facility. We're very lucky to have it. And, you know, it's certainly from my perspective a, a privilege to be able to be here and, you know, teach at this great school. We have so many opportunities for our kids and not just in the ag setting. I'm sure you're um, making your minds up already, but, you know, it's a, it's a great place to be and kids have a great time. and. Um, yeah, we, we, we love my worry. So I hope um, your, your kids have a great time here at the farm and I certainly look forward to meeting them and, and to you in the future. So best of luck and we will see you soon.